Go out and look for a job. The word today is job. J O B. You hear me? Yeah. Let's go look for a job today. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you on another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all had a very great weekend. Also, my day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. Much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story, yes. A lot of you all may have heard of this story by now where you have Dr. Dre, you know, who is mega rich. And no, we're not here to count nobody buckety bucks. That's something that we do not do over here. But recently, it came out that his 38-year-old daughter, yes, Latanya or Latanya Young, recently tried to expose him to the press, basically saying that he hung her out to dry. And I'm thinking like this, how in the hell did your dad leave you to hang out to dry? But anyway, to give you all a little backdrop, now, Latanya Young is the eldest daughter of Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre being 55 years old, I don't know when he'll be 56, but Latonya Young is 38 years old, and I don't know when she'll be 39. But, you know, so Dre evidently uh, must have had his daughter when he was around 17 years old. So, let's think about this for a second before I start the story. Now, for a 17-year-old man to have a daughter, and then that said man grows up to become a multi-millionaire, go to show you that that said man is about what? He's about his money. He's about his hustle. He's about having things. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the problem in this world, you know what I'm saying? It's the fact that you will have people who sit back on the sidelines, one of their family, friends, or your own children. You see what I'm saying? That will sit back on the sidelines and expect for you to go and better yourself, become something, make money, and then give them that said money. Now, recently, she also told the press that she was homeless and living out of an SUV. But as I did a little research and everything, come to find out, this helper says she spends about $700 a week for an SUV. So I'm thinking like this, what kind of SUV is this? I don't know what SUV costs $700 a week unless it's a damn Bentley or a Rolls Royce or a damn Maybach. You know what I'm saying? But why would you have a $700 a week car note instead of having a place to stay for your children? Because I'm sure in the state of Nevada and also in the state of California, because I stayed there, you can afford to pay somebody $2,500, $3,000 rent and stay in a little decent section. may not be the best because the cost of living is high, but you could definitely pay somebody. So recently, she has been out in Dr. Dre and also looking for the public sympathy, but she went a little step further a couple days ago and launched a GoFundMe, basically playing to the public for the public help. And as you can see, she hasn't raised that much money. Her goal is to reach $50,000, but I really don't know why would you need $50,000 if you just looking for a place to stay, I mean, damn, that's kind of hard, don't you think? But anyway, Dr. Dre is doing something what we call tough love. You know, you can parent your children the way that you want to parent them, but it's like this. When you become grown, you're supposed to be grown. That's the main thing I want you all to take away from this story right here, is when you're grown, you're called grown for a reason. You're not grown just because you're a certain age. You're not grown because of what come out your mouth. You're grown by the things that you do. Let me repeat that. You're grown by the things you do because you can sit back and talk that grown shit all day long like you're this and you're dead. But guess what? Some of you all don't have a pot to piss in or window to throw it out. So if you're sitting on somebody else's couch and you're running your mouth basically saying that I'm grown and you don't even have your own, see, to be grown is to stand on your own. So if you're not standing on your own, you're not fully, completely grown because to be grown is independence. And that said independence demands a lot of responsibility. But this is what happened. When you don't handle your business right, when you make bad decisions, and then you try to paint the picture and blame somebody else for your bad decisions. Shame on you. But anyway, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story so we can dive a little deeper. And I'm going to give my opinion, all of it, surely, as we go. Dr. Dre's homeless daughter lunches $50,000 GoFundMe campaign. Like, who in the hell is she trying to get back to help her and her four kids find a safe home after claiming she's been living in a car after her mega rich dad hung her out to dry. But she never once stated how these guys, or depends on how many baby daddies she has, kids, father, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if she had one. I don't know if she had two, three, or four. But one thing about it, she has not said one thing about these kids' dad. Now, what's sad to me and what seems to be strange, the fact that you would say that 
your dad, who was Dr. Dre, who was world renowned famous, forget all that fame part. But the fact that you would blame him for hanging you out to dry, how about you blaming your own self and also the kid's dad for hanging you out to dry? No matter what happened, unless they died of natural causes and you can't prevent a natural death. You see what I'm saying? But don't sit up here and blame your dad just for your damn decision when clearly it's your damn decision because after all, you're grown, right? Anyway, recently Dr. Dre's estranged daughter, Latonya Young, came forward and said she was financially struggling after her dad cut her off in January 2020. Now, some of y'all looking around like this right here like, why in the hell will he cut her off? But let me give you all a backdrop. It's not like Dr. Dre, from what I've been hearing, was not doing anything for his daughter. Because from what I heard, not only was he giving her an allowance, he was also paying her damn rent. But it's quite strange that you weren't worried about Dr. Dre allegedly seeing his grandkids then because you stated that he hasn't seen his grandkids. And also, you haven't talked to him in a while. And you have to reach out through his team. So as long as he was sending you money, you know what I'm saying, with your grown ass, it was all fine. But the moment he cut the money off because you want to run to the press, and why would you do that? You know, the old folks have an old saying is this right here. Because some people these days forgot some of the old teaching. That's one thing I'm glad I did, is that I paid attention to what the old folks were saying. They said this right here. If something ain't broke, don't try to fix it. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. So evidently, your relationship was kind of strained, but it wasn't broke. He was still looking out for you. But the moment you go run to the press and try to say whatever you said about this man, he cut you off. You messed the whole situation up. So really, you cannot do nothing but stand in the mirror and blame that person that you see in that mirror, which is yourself. But anyway, Latonya Young says she needs this GoFundMe to get on her feet that she has established. And her goal is to raise $50,000. Like, what the hell do you need $50,000 for if you're just trying to find you a place to stay? So, allegedly, you can get your kids and you can be one big happy family. But then again, what you going to do when it's time to pay those bills? Let's continue. She says this right here. I think the GoFundMe campaigns are for people in desperate situations. And I'm in a desperate situation. Pause. But the point is this right here. Yes, life do throw curveballs at you. Things do happen in life that is beyond your control. True, it's called life. But you deal with it. You grow from it. You deal with it. And you find a solution to the problem. You don't make the problem worse. And the main thing that you do not do in this life is blame other people for your problems. See, society has a problem and the people in it has a problem of blaming everybody else for their shortcomings, for their mistakes. I mean, damn, I'm sure we all can blame somebody for a lot of things. I know I can. But one thing about it, you know, I take pride in this right here is number one, being grown, being a man. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, to be a man is to get up no matter how you're feeling, day in, day out. Just like I used to watch my dad do. Just like how I used to watch my grandfather do. And I'm sure you all watch your grandfathers, your dads, your mom or whatnot, get up and go to work, even when they was feeling bad, even when they were sick, even when things weren't going right. You know what I'm saying? But they still went and took care of business and took care of home. So by seeing that, that should instill value and a good hard work ethic inside of you. That way, when you grow up, you can have some. But evidently, some people think just because their parents were, are successful, or went on to be something in life that they are entitled to that said reward, that said blessing. But at the same time, if you didn't put in the work, don't sit back and put your hand out because guess what? Nobody's going to give you nothing. But anyway, let's continue. Now, Latonya Young says this. She says, some people were in awe of what I am going through and asked if I had a GoFundMe. I really don't want to accept any handouts. You've been doing it this long. You might as well continue. But I appreciate anything that is offered. It's like this, you know. I understand you got to do what you got to do. Now, I'm not here to count nobody the money. I am not no kind of hater in no kind of way. I'm more of a realist, if you know what I'm saying. That's why I like to deal with real life issues because I see things through a certain lens. You feel what I'm saying? But it's this right here. Like, you've been grown for a long time. You're 38 years old. It's not like you're 18 or even 28. You're 38. So you had a long time to get your what? Shit together. You need to really do something about that. Anyway, Let's finish up. She says this right here, and it really just shocked the hell out of me. She says, I have worked all my life. Well, if you worked all your damn life, you wouldn't be in this damn pickle. You wouldn't be in this predicament. You know what I'm saying? That's what we call hell around. And she says this, and I know how to work for money, but I'm in a difficult place right now. Notice, she says this right here, like uplifting herself, but at the same time making a damn excuse. Why is there a damn excuse? You know what I'm saying? Excuses are like what? buttholes i'm not gonna say assholes even though i just said it everybody got one you know what i'm saying but if you worked all your damn life then you know how to pick your damn self up but why not one time in this whole article or any article i've seen that you even 
fault the kid's dad for not chipping in doing what they supposed to do or what he's supposed to do. Because I don't know if it's one, two, three, or four. I'm not trying to make you look bad in no kind of way because you already did that to your own self. The point is this right here. If you had something good and you got a mega rich dad, like you said in the news blog said, why not tap into that? Why not go on and become something? Why not better yourself when you was younger? Why sit up here and wait till you're damn near 40 years old and complain about what your dad got and what your dad is not doing for you when you're grown? To be grown is to be on your damn own. Anyway, young 38 was receiving a monthly allowance from her dad, but when she began doing interviews about their strained relationship, he cut her ass off, pretty much. And do you blame him? Now, think about this. Not only was he giving her a monthly allowance at 38 with four children, but he was also paying her rent, basically paying her bills and giving her money. And I'm sure that Dr. Dre do this to his other children. So, it's quite funny we don't hear the other children trying to out him or say anything bad about him. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. And Latanya Young, boo-boo. I hope you really do get your life together. The thing is this right here. You need to accept responsibility for your own actions. You feel what I'm saying? You cannot shame somebody into helping you. And that's a shame with people right there. That's a sad thing. It's even like that with me with some of my family members and other sad people. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how good I'm doing. They don't know by the image that they see on this screen right here. They don't know if I'm broke or if I got money. You know what I'm saying? But of course, I'm not broke. But anyway... Get your life together. Get your own money. And that way you ain't got time to worry about what somebody else is doing. Because guess what? You'll be getting your own. Anyway, let me know what you think about this story. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, y'all stay blessed. And I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.